Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator. And Craig, thank you for your speech. In fact, I want to thank all of our speakers today. As Mary T was explaining, we want to thank you for giving us this information. We had three very thoughtful and intelligent speeches today, all spoken with lots of prowess. I love this. This is why we come to Toastmasters. We get to learn something new every time. Craig, I want to share with you a couple of things that I thought you did well. I want to share with you something that I think you can do to improve. And I've got a, a comment that I want to make to all of us as we are learning to become better speakers. The first thing, Craig, is I want to comment on how you, you repeated your message. And one of the ways we can get our message across in our speeches is by repeating the message. And the message that I was trying, that I got from your speech was if there's anything I'm going to take away from this is that whole food plant-based diets are the way to go. And it wasn't something that you said necessarily at the beginning and then finalized at the end. You laced it through the speech, whole foods, plant-based diets. Another thing that you did really well was when you wanted to stress a point, you got right up to the camera that white blood cells do not mix well in an oil slick. That was another message that I picked up because you took that time to get in our face and provide us with that vocal variety, as well as that in the camera sense, that filling up that frame with your face because you're getting our attention. That's that attention grabber that we want. Now, something that I think you could improve on for next time, the background was a little distracting. What I saw was green eyes. You look a little bit like a fly to me. And <laughs> I did see your background and, and I saw a little bit of your silhouette in there, but couldn't quite make out if you're doing gestures or what you're doing there, but at least I could hear, hear your voice and I could see a lot of what you're doing. It was just a little faint. You might want to pick a different background or find some other way to illustrate your body and your movements. The last thing I want to talk about today is the introduction that Tom gave to you. Now, I realize that's an introduction that you wrote for Tom to give to you, but I want to stress for all of us as as speakers is how important that introduction is to us as the audience. The introduction from the Toastmaster does a couple of things. It provides us with a little bit of information about you. Perhaps you're an expert on the subject, or in this case, you are researching something and you're telling us who the expert was that you were researching. Another thing it can do is if you are concerned about the length of time that your speech is going to be, you could probably give some of the information that you would normally give in your speech to the Toastmaster to give. And the Toastmaster can share a little bit of information for you and it won't take up any of your time or as much time in your speech. There are a couple of great ways, those are a couple of great ways you can incorporate information into your, the Toastmaster's introduction of you to make your speech more efficient and useful to the audience. Great speech, Craig. Back to you, Christian.